you're saying that the Air Force is about to make a big boo-boo and waste a lot of money. Well, um, I had a uh, terrific student a couple of years ago named John Green, who's um, a uh, Navy SEAL. He was the leader of SEAL Team 7. And he um, fought in Afghanistan and led 180 or 190 missions. And he said that his, uh, the life of himself and his um, force were frequently saved by having uh, close air support, which was uh, differentially provided by a plane called the A-10, the Warthog, which is a plane that's now 30 years old. Um, the plane that the Air Force has proposed um, replacing the A-10 and other planes as well is called the F-35, which is a super sophisticated jet fighter. We have lots of um, wars against terrorists, against insurgents and the like, um, as we did in Afghanistan, as we do in Iraq and in Syria. Our stealth fighter, the F-35, is extraordinarily poorly equipped for this. We have a large fleet of A-10s, yeah. and they've been refurbished so that they'll last for another 20 years. <clears throat> and the cost of uh, an F-35 is about $160 million. Let's assume you said somehow or other we've found a miraculous way to, well, to save money on energy. The Air Force uses a lot of fuel. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to spend that on the F-35s, of which we're going to have about 1,900. Sure. Let's have 1,700 and at least have something that's going to be able to provide us with close air support. I see no future in which we're not going to have to be in fighting insurgents in uh, 10 years. Who they will be and where they will be from, um, I don't know. But even when we get involved in conflicts with Russia yeah. in the eastern Ukraine, no, we're dealing with insurgents. We're not dealing with Russian troops.